chainsaw mill closed in chainsaw mill now you can see where my saw was placed on my mill the sawdust blows in into the mill and the reason for this is is because if i would have placed it on the other side i would have had to walk down through here step up on the ramp walk across the ramp step back down and continue to saw well that was too much of a pain so i put it on this side which created another problem now the sawdust blows to the inside of the building what kind of problem is that well let me tell you this is half of one log and it's a wheelbarrow clear full of sawdust okay this is a constant constant job in the mill keeping my sawdust off the floor uh, it gets to the point where my head's getting closer to the ceiling as I cut so I've got to keep it cut or cleaned up um, what I do is I throw it in my wheelbarrow and I wheel it right around here where I pile it and eventually I'll use this for the chickens and the chicken coop might even uh, throw some of this stuff that's been here since last year in this part of the pile into the garden this year and till it in be great for the soil now you wouldn't want to add the fresher stuff it's still going to be really high and uh, acidity and pine needles are really high in that so I would avoid that I'd let it set for at least a year just something to think about when you're setting up your mill with a chainsaw what you're going to do with your sawdust and and uh, how you're going to keep it out of your way I have thought about coming back in here on mine in which I put these boards down so that I can stand up there when I'm moving a log around which makes it nice but at the same time my sawdust piles up on there around the log so I've thought about taking that back up and having a, a like a steel griddle or, or maybe some wire mesh that might work put some wire mesh down there I wouldn't be able to stand on it but the sawdust would drop through to the bottom under my telephone poles and uh, I could just rake it out from underneath there um, haven't really figured out a permanent solution besides just keep it cleaned up as I'm working something else to think about you got a chainsaw mill you're closing in fumes from the exhaust I learned this about two hours after cutting my very first day since I was done I had a horrible headache had a horrible taste in my mouth and it was all because of the the fumes I was breathing in they're staying within the sawmill so what I did to prevent this I put a blower right behind me I've got it rigged to a toggle switch I turn it on and it blows from directly behind the mill blowing all the fumes down that way out the door or out that way out the, out the front door uh, those fumes are extremely dangerous uh, these are all things you might think about when you're setting up your chainsaw mill have any questions or comments uh, don't be afraid to ask subscribe to my channel if you're not Thanks for watching.